Welcome back to Squawk Box. Let's get back to Daniel Frischberg, Chief Investment Strategist at LaughaFrischberg.com, joining us live from Chicago. Daniel, you know, one of the good things out there in the market that is happening is the fact that, uh, you know, the credit crisis is easing in so far that the interbank borrowing costs are slightly starting to come down. What does that mean for the bond market and investors thereof? Well, it means that, uh, that this is going to respond to all the big influx of money that we're having, and you can have confidence in that. While investors don't really, haven't really uh, started to acquire an appetite for risk yet, mm. and they're not pouring money into the stock market, what is happening is that this gigantic spread between corporate bonds, American uh, local municipal bonds, uh, mortgage bonds, foreign uh, AAA paper co bonds from com countries that are very solvent. The spread between that and U.S. Treasuries has been enormous. And I think a, a uh, selling of U.S. Treasuries, short or otherwise, and buying of uh, very high quality corporate paper in America, municipal paper, and even high quality, high quality bonds from other countries. I think you're going to make a lot of money on those. You're going to make stock-like returns with far less risk because you know that those things are going to all mature at par as long as they don't default. And, uh, and there are a lot of countries who aren't going to default, we know. And, and there are a lot of cities in the United States and states that aren't going to default. High quality corporations, multinationals who are solvent, and, and the, there's no excuse for these spreads, and they, were all, they will all be selling or par or better soon. And that means people are going to get interest, guaranteed return of principal, and capital gains that are going to end up giving them stock-like returns with far lower risk. And I think that is going to respond sooner. Yeah. The stock market may not really be rallying when that is already yeah, happening. Dan, tell you what, let's uh, work it backwards. The thinking behind that is that, of course, uh, uh, is it a correct assumption to make that yields can only go down, therefore prices can go up and the other thing is, I mean, even though everybody's selling out of stocks, equities right now, you're getting on average uh, more than 3% yield. That's pretty decent. Uh, a 3% yield on, on uh, what? Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't On equities on average. You're getting... Oh, yeah, I know that. But you see, the problem with equities is that you don't know what the price is going to be. And so you can make a 3% yield. And yes, it's pretty good. But a 20% decline in the price of your stocks, which is very possible from here, uh, that, that gives you many, many years to try to make it up. Okay. Bonds, the thing about them is they mature at par. Mm. No matter what happens in the middle, when they mature, they're $1,000 a bond. Yeah. So you don't really have to sell as them long for as there's 30 no cents on the Understood. Dollar. Okay, Dan, got to go. Great to talk That's to you, right. sir. Daniel Frischberg, Chief Investment Strategist, LafferFrischberg.com, live out of Chicago.